My mother once told my sister that my father and I can just look at something and understand it, while herself and my sister really have to study it in order to get it. I thought it was kind of bullshit because I knew I had to study a lot in order to grasp some of the concepts, but I then realized that she was of course oversimplifying a concept that is so important in societies nowadays that I am tempted to say that it's the reason behind our success in different facets of society, like technology, business, philosophy, medicine, sports, and, you know, other stuff. The concept is rather simple. To be honest, I am better than you in something. However, you are better than me in something else. I might be able to grasp languages faster than you, but your math level and understanding of it outshines me. Someone who I look up to and I'm grateful for is Hamsa. He really got me into meditation, gratitude, nofap, and other stuff that is really helpful for one. But recently, I was watching his video on how to become a, a father, and he explains how he journaled and took a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time and effort, to really organize his thoughts and condense them into one video, which kind of shocked me because after having watched the entire video, I realized that I had the same thought like three years ago when I was 16. I literally had the same idea as him, down to the type of house, type of lifestyle, type of education I was going to give to my children. You know, I would teach them everything that they needed to know in order to become independent and strong, irrelevant of their sex. If they're women, I would teach them how to, you know, be a good woman or whatever. And if they're men, um, then I would teach them how to be strong and stuff. I thought about all of this while I was walking my dogs. And I'm really not trying to say that I'm better than him. I just seem to have an easiness of, you know, coming up with these ideas, these what ifs or realities that I want to live in. It seems that for him, everything that I find hard comes easy to him. And you know what he does with these things? You know what he does with that advantage that he has over me? He uses his unfair advantage, even though he worked for it, to teach others. And now he makes a fuck ton of money from it. You, yeah. You have an unfair advantage that you're not exploiting. And to be honest, fuck you. You're being a fucking pussy for not using your God-gifted talent to enrich the world with your work. Imagine if Mozart never played any music because it's unfair or because he felt bad for the other guy. Imagine if Lucas never made Star Wars because using his, his creativity was unfair and unconventional and scary to see how it would do. You see how stupid it sounds? Even though I'm making the voice of a stupid guy, but... It sounds stupid. You could be better than most of these self-improvement guys that you watch. You may be able to build a bigger empire than them. So start believing in yourself for fuck's sake. Yeah, believing in oneself is gay. Stop being a sheeple, you dummy head. You absolute moron head. You may think it's gay to believe in oneself. I certainly don't. So just think about all the things you could get if you became successful from using your gifts. Women, money, Power, friends, love. Would you call what you most desire gay? I don't. Well, unless what you most desire is cock. If it's cock, then yeah, it's kind of gay, but fuck I me, mean, why did you have to make this into something that's gay? However, let me indulge in your idea. So you don't believe in yourself. Even though I think that's kind of gay, I also think it's okay. See, it rhymes. Recently, I've been watching Alex Ormosi a lot, and his wife, Layla, explained something that really interested me. She basically stated that sometimes when she has a goal, like to reach, I don't know, certain amounts of money, she says to her team that it's, yeah, we can do this. But in her mind, she says, there's no fucking way we can do this because it's too fucking deranged. So she says it's okay to not believe in oneself because, you know, the idea is a bit fucked. And this kind of relates back to the idea that to have unrealistically realistic goals. Goals that are just outside of your power to obtain, so as to, you know, push yourself a little harder. But yeah, like, if you believe that you want to become a trillionaire in, like, two days, like, yeah, it's a bit fucked and you've gone a bit mad. But I mean, it's on the smaller scale stuff, like, I believe I will be ripped. Or a better way to phrase it is, I believe I am disciplined enough to consistently go to the gym and train hard. Anyways, I am of the opinion that you should document your ideas or work slash progress in whatever you do so as to keep track of the quality of said work and other metrics that you should know. Once you've worked on bettering your ideas to a good standard, fucking publish them. Don't get stuck in your head about how good is it 
most often than not, it's good enough. For you right now, you will naturally improve with time, but at a much faster rate than others if you just keep working on your shit. To tell you the truth that you already know, the world is always going to be filled with unfairness. People that have and don't have disadvantages will always exist. So use your unfair advantage because it's not only an insult to yourself, but to the rest of us who have to work hard and accomplish what comes easy to you. Tall people don't apologize for being tall to short people. Geniuses don't apologize to the retarded. Yeah, I'm using retarded, but I don't care. Why should Arnold apologize for being genetically predisposed to getting big from training? He shouldn't, and he fucking doesn't. He achieved greatness, and we now see him as something that we could achieve. Yeah, maybe with the aid of Jews, but that's, that's besides the point. It's idiotic to apologize for what one was born with or worked for. Just use it to make the world a better place in your own way. By being a specialist in one of these things, you end up developing a method to push the human limit further in this given expertise or area. You give us an example of what is achievable. We now know that we can run that huge fucking marathon in less than two hours because of Kim Choge. That's why and how we evolved to become a better species, by passing down knowledge. Without Einstein's genius, we wouldn't know about E equals MC squared. But due to his exploitation of his unfair advantage, we now know and understand his theories. You get the point. Just to wrap it up, believe in yourself, because you might end up being a repressed genius, or just don't believe in yourself. Try to see the faults in your thoughts or work so you can make it better. Or don't believe and take action in order to prove to yourself you're worth believing in. I will make a video on this because... Both perspectives are, in my opinion, correct, but in short, exploit your God-given talent. If not for your sake, at least for ours. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, I don't care. Bye.